Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got a brand new promo in Mutt, guys. Now, if you guys didn't know, the Sugar Rush promo is in game. Now, originally, as of last night's stream, they did announce that the Sugar Rush promo wouldn't be here. Um, they said it wouldn't be at 10.30, like it would be like a little bit later. So in years past when they've said that, we've gotten promos at like 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 11.30. But we quite literally got it at 10.30. Actually, things started coming out before 10.30. So I think they expect, I think they said that in case there was a delay because they were like, like they had a timeline till 10.30, but pending complications, it probably wouldn't be. But I guess things went smoothly. Or they were just messing with us. I don't really know. But nonetheless, guys, we do have the promo out at 10.30. So that's pretty exciting, guys. We're going to go into all this. Before we get into the video, though, make sure you go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up. And, of course, always smash the like button. And if you guys need coins, head over to my coin bank down below and use code POODLE at checkout. for 5% off your order. So, I want to show you guys the mission tab, but I do not see it up uh, for, some, for some weird reason. But if we go to the, uh, let's see. We head over to sets. It should be up and running the Sugar Rush uh, promo. So here we go. Sugar Rush right here, as you guys can see. Now, the Sugar Rush promo, some pretty cool art. I mean, for the most part, I do I do like it. So sample the dessert section with Sugar Rush sets. Complete these to earn Sugar Rush players or to compete in the Sugar Showdown. We have players in the Sugar Showdown. So I start with the Sugar Showdown. Play head to head games to earn contender tokens to vote for Juju Smith, Schuster, and Anthony Harris. Whoever's the host, most votes will be crowned the Candy King and receive a plus one overall to their candy contender version. So, guys, this is just like the snowball fight that we had for Christmas. So, do remember that. So, pretty much all you want to do is agree with one, you know, YouTuber that picks one. And I talked to Zerk already. So, we think that Anthony Harris is going to be the best one. He's going to be an end game safety. So, I recommend you put your votes towards Anthony Harris because, again, Juju's always on the slower side, too. So, that's probably why. So, I would recommend this is on this is we'll get a one plus overall on uh, four six which is April 6th. So I would recommend putting your uh, your Candy King vote for Anthony Harris at safety instead of Juju Smith. Of course, I'll see if I can show you guys the stats and everything. But like I said, Zerks and Anthony Harris, which mostly means we will probably win. So definitely stick with that because you don't want to be the one left out. So Master Steven Jackson, Master Ryan Chazier, exchange two 96 overall Sugar Rush heroes and 193 to 94. Sugar Rush players earn a 98 overall Master Ryan Chazier. So Ryan Chazier does return to Mutt. Guys, honestly... It's pretty cool. Now, when I return some up, you know, he always ends up with them and he always ends up with some end game card every single year. Like, it just feels like we, they always found a way to get him in this game end game, which is cool. I do like that. And then Steven Jackson, of course, which is going to be a really good power back. And then here they got Roger Saffold, Cam Newton, Kendall Fuller, Calais Campbell. So we have the four heroes. And of course, the master sets are how they typically are. Uh, but again, you don't get back players in that here, which is interesting. They're starting to get, get rid of that, which I don't really like. Um, I don't like that implication. And at the top, you see, we have tree tickets and we have candy. Now, the thing with tree tickets and candy, guys, of course, is are going to be two different currencies with this promo, which is pretty interesting. You know, change it up a little bit. Now, let's head on over to the store and see if some of the players are actually up on the block, of course. Now, the Sugar Rush Fantasy Packs are in game here, as you guys can see, which is pretty cool as well. Uh, so let's go check out the auction block. And let's go see the new Sugar Rush promo players. And first, guys, I do want uh, also afterwards, I do want to check out one of the new LTDs we got. We got a Giants LTD. Which is interesting to say. I'll show you guys in a second. So let's go to the top players, of course. That's kind of what we want to see here. Uh, the low, you know, there's some lower ones, obviously, but not many, many people are going to care about the lower ones as much. So you have uh, Calais Campbell in game, right end for the Baltimore Ravens. Getting up there in age, guys. He's like 34, going on 35 years old at this point, which is pretty crazy. You know, he's been in the league quite a while. Let's see, guys. Block Shed 97, Power Move 94. That's great, of course. You will get 99 Power Move and 98 Block Shed. Now, the thing here is that he's going to be super slow. Only going to get to 79 speed with Sprinter, 79 80 speed. He'll get a 89 Excel. Everything else is really good, but he's on the slower side for an end. You'd have to put him at defensive tackle. So if you do feel like using Calais Campbell, you're going to have to put him at defensive tackle, right? That's kind of the deal with him. Roger Staffold, left guard. Um, for him, guys, of course, great run blocker. Decent to good pass blocker. So, again, you're going to have a great run blocker. You power him up and kept him up. Going to be pretty much max on 99s and running. And then, say, you know, middle of the 90 area for pass blocking. So, again, you can't really go wrong with a Roger Saffold card for the most part. So, he's going to be good. Roger Saffold's going to be good as well. And then, of course, as we move on over, guys, too, as well. Uh, let's see. Let's let's refresh this art, this bar right here. Let's see. I don't think a 98 and 99s will be up yet because if they were, you know, more 96s would probably be up more, more, more or less. Let's check some of the lower ones. And we also have a, like I said, a Mutt Hero LTD who is a giant today. Uh, just some names. You have Adam Shaheen, Benson Mayoa, Nelville Gallimore, Marcus Gilbert. We got Michael Burton. 
We got Rocky Sin, Trey Hopkins, Preston Smith, and Mark Ingram. Now, Mark Ingram is actually interesting. I didn't think he would get a card. You know, he's on, he's on the Texans on 93 speed, 95 excel. Honestly, isn't horrible for Mark Ingram. I thought that would have given him something less. Now, let's go check out the Mud Hero uh, LTD. We'll wait for some of the cards to come up. I do want to check him out. Now, for the Mud Hero LTD, guys, we do have Kenny Galladay, which is actually pretty cool considering, you know, he just became a giant. So, like, I wonder if they'll give him as a giant. That would be pretty cool. I don't see it up yet, though, sadly. So, we're going to have to probably wait for that as well. For the players, we're going to go over some of the solos, guys. We have the Treat Trail and the Sugar Rush. So, earn uh, treat tickets to travel down the Treat Trail every challenge you complete. So, to get down the Treat Trail, guys, you're going to need to collect... Uh, you're going to have to gather one tree uh, ticket. And as you get the tree ticket, you're going to unlock more tree trails, guys. So essentially, you know, during the Christmas promos, when there was that one uh, milestone, there was like that one uh, objective that said like, you know, tiers one through five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way to 20. And at every tier, you got a new reward, a pack, a free player. It's just like that. So you got to collect tree tickets. How do you collect them? Solos, sets, objectives, same way. When the objective list is up, you will be able to see more and understand more. But for the time being, guys, just know. You go here to the tree trail and you play your solos as you get more tickets. So first you need your first ticket. You gather your first ticket, which you can get your first ticket from up here. If you don't know how, you can get one tree trail ticket there, another one there, three, four, five. So you can get five total here, guys. Then you know you do sets, house rules, so solos, seasons. If you do all that, you will be able to go ahead and keep collecting more and more tickets. So make sure you're collecting that. And the candy is just your generic currency, right? You use that to buy things in the store. You use that to, you know, when you quick sell players, you get more candy. So that's kind of how this works. But um, for the most part, the solos don't look too horrible, you know. I mean, this one looks like it's going to be a... Uh, this one, they look like full games, but they're not. If you look closely, there's a requirement. So just get the get the objective done, and you will be done pretty quick. So it shouldn't take too long as well. So those are the solos, guys. And, of course, these will be like the, the tree ticket solos. So make sure you do play both. You know, get your tickets first, and then come back over. And then, of course, guys, like I said, once the objective... Oh, there's the objective list. Travel down the tree trail. Earn delightful rewards by completing tree trail challenges. So if you guys can see here, earn one ticket. Tree tail tier one. Tree tail tier three. If you get all the way down to the end, guys... Over here, you do get a tier 10, a 96 overall Sugar Rush Nat Fantasy Pack. So you do, you're able to get one of the heroes from there, which you can use to make one of the masters. So that's pretty cool as well. One free player there. You get a free 92 to 94. You get a, a free Big Egg Fantasy Pack. Another 92 to 94. And another Big Egg Fantasy Pack. So if you get all the way down, guys, you essentially get a few Big Egg Fantasy Packs and a few free 90s, one free 96, some free 80s, and some lower eggs, some candy. You know, you're going to get through all that, guys, for sure. And then, of course, there's the Masters and everything. So let's go back now. And on the store, guys, for eggs, the eggs are pretty self-explanatory. You go to the candy shop right here, and you can see all the eggs you can buy. Now, from the what I've read, the eggs are really bad values. But um, for the most part, you know, if you want to check, uh, test your luck, you know, with a grand egg, there it is. You know, pick up your candy and do what you got to do. Now, the egg hunt does not look as fun as I thought it would be. It seems like they're very generic. Uh, they, they've, they've really changed the way the hunt feels this year. But I, I hope it ends up being better than it is. You know, of course, we still have time to gauge all that. And get a feel for how that's going to be. Now we sort by newest. Is anyone up that I want to see here? So we have uh, Steven Jackson's up. I see Kenny Galladay actually too. Steven Jackson. Again guys, a real quick rundown. 95 speed, 96 excel, 94 agility, 97 carrying, 83 catching, 93 change of direction, 95 trucking, 97 break tackle. On next gen guys, Steven Jackson's a really good running back. because He's going to be 240 pounds with good trucking, break tackle, and catching and everything else. On current gen, I wouldn't really recommend him, guys, because at the end of the day, despite all his power he has, he's not exactly the most elusive back, and he's just not the fastest back, right? And that's kind of the name of the game right now. So let's go back to filter that. Let's go back. I hate how that always changes my filter when I go in and out. That's so frustrating. Makes you have to redo it every single time. Ryan Shazier next. So Ryan Shazier, pass coverage, linebacker. Now, he's actually pretty good. Of course, no one uses uh, linebackers anymore, but he'll get 99 zone. 98 speed, 99 excel, or 98 excel, sorry. Uh, you know, he'll get 99 play rec, he'll get 89 block shed. This card's overall just a really, really good card. I really like the Shazier card, but again, linebackers have just been phased out of the game, so I really can't endorse him too much. We got Kenny Galladay. Now, that's a cool card. I hope he's fast. Um, 95 speed, of course. Oh, God. I don't get why they drop a, look, a new promo, a new LTD today. Ryan Shazier, 95 speed. Steven Jackson, 95 speed. Like, Kenny Galladay, 95 speed. Guys, we're done with the 95 speed. I don't know why they keep doing that. I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't know why they don't think they can't go beyond that. Kenny Galladay, though, new giant, which is cool, and, you know, a giant LTD, but they don't have him in a giant jersey. They have him in a line jersey, which kind of sucks. Makes sense, though. So he gets 98 speed. He'll get 98 jumping. He'll get 90, 98 catching, 99 catching traffic, 99 spec catch, 95 short, 99, no, sorry, 99 short, 99 medium, and 97 deep route running. 81 strength is actually really good for a, a receiver. 95 stiff arm is really good. He'll have 90 change of direction, which is good. 89 juking, 92 carrying. You'll have 90 break tackle. This card's a really, really good card, of course. Again, I wish he had like one more speed, 
But other than that, the Kenny Gallaudet is really, really good. Now, let's see if some of the heroes are up before we head on out of here. I know you guys probably want to see a few of the heroes, at least, before we head on out. So, let's go on down to Sugar Rush. I want to see Cam Newton's stats. I heard he was pretty decent. A uh, quarterback scrambler, though. That's not a good archetype. 91 speed's good. 98 throw power. 94 throw short. 92 throw medium. 92 throw deep. 90 throw under pressure. 95 throw on the run. And 94 play action. So, Cam Newton, but no power up, which is going to hurt him. Otherwise, guys, he will get 99, you know, short. 99 throw power. But no power up just kind of suck. Does he have truck and stuff? Yeah, he actually has an 87 tra spit, uh, stiff arm. 86 juke. He will get 89 truck. The card's decent. Overall, it's a decent card. But, I mean, the rest of the cards are pretty much up now. As you guys can see, we got Clay's Campbell. We got Kendall Fuller, which we saw already. We have Cam Newton. We saw Roger Saffold. That's pretty much the bulk of all the players that were dropped. But, guys, yeah, that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know which one's your favorite. If you guys need any help, let me know. And of course, head over to my coin bank and use for Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.